Okay, this is Steve from Big Mess of Wires, and I'm here to demo my latest pointless electronics project. I call this one Mozart's Credit Card, and it plays the music that's hidden inside your magnetic stripe cards. Now, you've probably got a ton of these cards in your wallet, things like credit cards, grocery cards, ID cards. They've all got a magnetic stripe on the back, and hidden inside that stripe, there's music. Okay, let's give Mozart a try. Here's my grocery club card. Let's see what this does. Interesting. Short and sweet. Alright, let's try my old university ID card. Look at this photo. I have hair! Try again. Alright, well, let's hear that grocery music again. Okay, so what's really going on here? I've got an old point-of-sale terminal that I picked up from an electronic surplus store for five bucks. And when I cracked it open, I found a little 1980s vintage self-contained computer inside, based around a Z80 8-bit microprocessor. That's it right there. That's the same processor that was used in Radio Shack's TRS-80 computer, as well as Sinclair's ZX Spectrum. And importantly, the ROM for this little computer was in a socket right here. The original ROM, that's this guy, contained a program for doing point-of-sale processing for credit card transactions. Boring! So, I spent some time reverse engineering how this hardware works. I wrote a new program. I burned it to a new EEPROM, which you see here, popped it into the socket, and Mozart's credit card was born. The music here is generated by a rule-based system. It tries to create pleasing melodies given a set of starting parameters and constraints. The choice of major or minor mode is determined by the card's year of expiration, and the key, F, B flat, or whatever, is determined by the month of expiration. There's 12 months in a year, 12 semitones in an octave, perfect fit. The number of data bytes on the card determines how many measures of music are played. My grocery card only has a few data bytes, and so its music is short. Then the tempo, the rhythm, intervals, and the actual notes come from a random number generator whose seed is the card's account number. And that's all there is to unlocking the music hidden in your magnetic stripe card. Let's try one more. Here's an old Visa card. Lots of good data on this one. If you want to learn more about Mozart's credit card and my other projects, visit my blog at stevechamberlain.com. Thanks for watching.